Hey everybody, so this is one of the downsides, one of the cons of using a Hugel culture type of bed. Um, I did my whole bed in a low, you know, I dug out all of this into a trench and then placed wood and debris, wood chips, um, layered with uh, weeds and uh, then good soil on top of the soil that I dug out. But when you disturb the soil like that, you get all of these weeds. It's really what, uh, after studying some no-dig people and some soil scientists like uh, Elaine Ingham, I-N-G-H-A-M, she's been doing that for uh, over 40 years of just uh, studying soil. So this is what she says is that, um, you know, I don't mind because I enjoy being down here pulling the weeds and... I use the weeds to expand my gardens. You know, I recycle them. I recycle them all. But um, this is one of the downsides of digging it all up and digging trenches: is that when the soil is disturbed like this, you get a huge amount of weeds. It's what uh, what the soil scientists say really triggers the weeds. So that's one consideration. And it is why I'm doing a little bit more no-dig stuff lately, experimenting with that. But you can see that, um, and we've just had a few rains. We had a really good rain yesterday. So, and uh, maybe, I don't know, a little over a week ago. But you can just see that when the soil is completely dug out and disturbed, then the weeds are triggered. But, um, you know, you can see all my seeds coming up. So, um, yeah, something to consider when you're, when you're thinking about what type of gardening method to do. Thanks.